Welcome to the beautiful sacred valley of Peru. We are hiking through the mountains of Pisac. And today is going to be a yoga workup practice that focuses on strengthening and toning your muscles as well as releasing any tension through deep yoga postures. This is the perfect combination of toning and strengthening your body while deepening your connection to your breath and each present moment. Today's video is brought to you by Audible. Audible is an audiobook platform with an unmatched selection of titles which you can use to grow, learn, and embedder yourself with. You can even find one of our favorite and most inspiring books, On the Road by Jack Kerouac. Go to audible.com slash boho for a 30-day trial membership and a free book. With that said, let's get back to our yoga practice. All right, friends, we're going to begin today seated on your mat. Let's go ahead and bring your legs together. Inhale, reaching both arms up to the sky. And then exhale, releasing yourself into your child's pose. Just taking this moment right now to connect with your breath. Inhaling deeply through your nose. And then exhaling slowly through your mouth as you come on up to your all fours. Let's take a cat cow, inhale, arching the belly. And then exhale, rounding the spine and release. Inhale, arch the belly, look up. Exhale, release. Taking this opportunity right now to warm up the body, warm up the spine. Inhale. Exhale, release. And from here, coming back to neutral now. We're going to start with an exercise for the glutes. You're going to extend one leg all the way out. Make sure that both of your hips are square. From here, taking that leg to the outside of your mat, kick it up and over to the other side of your mat. Up and tap kick and tap kick and tap kick tap kick good just taking it to each side of your mat here engaging the glute muscle trying to keep your knee as straight as possible here beautiful keep going tap kick tap kick tap kick tap you're almost done Last one, you're gonna kick, bring it back to center. Hold it here, navel to the spine, engage your core. Flex the back foot, just kick it upward now. One, kick it, two, nice high back kick. Three, four, keep the hips square, just work from the glute muscle. Seven, eight, nine, ten, beautiful. Hold it there now. And then taking our Pilates push-ups for one. Push it up for two, working the tricep muscle here. And three, bring it down and up for four, and five, and six. You got this, keep going. Seven, and eight, nine, now last one. Hold it there, and then take that straight leg to the side, tap the ground, and then kick it to the side for one. Lift it up, two, three. We're working the side of your glute muscle here, toning that entire area here. Toning your glutes, toning your legs. This is a very effective exercise, just keep breathing through it. Last one, bring it back to center, now tuck your back toes. Lift and hover the bottom knee. You're going to bend that straight knee in and then kick it back. Bring it to your forehead and back. Again, using the glutes. At the same time now, strengthening the core and the shoulders. In, back, in, back, in, back, in, back. Hold it there. And then extending into your three-legged dog. From here, just hold for a moment, allowing that heel to come down to the mat. Feeling a nice deep stretch through the hamstring, then bend the top knee, stacking the hips on top of each other. And then that same bent knee is going to start to circle up and around for two. This is a wonderful warm up for the hip. And three, one more big circle with that leg. And four, wonderful, extend the leg up to the sky, inhale. 
Exhale from here, coming into plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, let's open into your upward facing dog. Open up through the heart center, lift the chest, and then exhale, release the toes, and come back into your downward facing dog. Holding here for a moment, and then that same leg is going to reach up to the sky, bend the knee, and step between your two hands into your high lunge. Just check your balance, make sure you're nice and square, inhale, and then once you're ready, both arms are going to reach up to your high lunge. We're going to stay in the how lunge and go through some arm exercises at any point. If it gets too much, drop the back knee to the floor. Let's take an inhale, exhale, bend the elbows, squeeze the shoulders. Inhale, reach, exhale, squeeze for two. Reach, bend the elbows and squeeze. Reach up and squeeze. Reach, squeeze the shoulder blades. And three, keep going. Bend those elbows, two, last one. Keep those elbows bent. From here, bring them together and open for one. Close the elbows and open for two. Stay in that lunge position again. If your legs start to get super fatigued, drop that back knee to the floor and do the same exercise in a low lunge position. Keep going, close and open, close and open extend in the arms arms circles forward 20 times go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten keep going ten nine eight keep rotating those arms big circles and five four three two one beautiful hold it there bend those elbows now you're gonna reach and then squeeze back reach forward and back reach and back so this is a similar exercise to the first one except we're reaching forward not up to the sky and squeeze reach and squeeze reach you're almost done and squeeze breathe through the burn breathe through the pain Hold it there, reaching forward and then dropping that back knee, releasing into your low lunge. Beautiful job. Now from here, just intertwine the wrists and then see if you can bring the palms of your hands together. Just holding this low lunge posture. Front knee over your ankle, allowing the hips to sink forward so you're getting that stretch through the hip flexor. And then releasing the hands over to the mat. Pushing your weight back to that back knee, flex your foot, inhale, and then exhale, releasing your body over top of that straight leg. Breathing deeply into that hamstring here. Think about pulling that front hip back and pushing the back hip forward. So if your right leg is in front, you're pulling the right hip back. This way, you're going to keep aligning your hips and getting the full benefit of this posture. Take one more deep breath in, and then as you exhale, come back to center. Low lunge, tuck your back toes, lifting the back knee off the mat, and then taking a twist here. So your opposite hand stays on the ground, and then the other arm reaches up to the sky. Now from here, we're going to release both hands on the mat, and then take that front leg and bring it back into a side plank position. Stack your feet on top of each other. Reach that arm to the sky. Breathing deeply here. Now you can stay and just hold. Or if you're more advanced, see if you can grab your big toes with your two fingers and extend that leg into a full star. Now this is quite a challenging posture. So if you're not there yet, just stay in your side plank. Breathing deeply, engaging your core, pulling the navel into the spine. Releasing the legs slowly with control, come back to side plank and then high plank, taking your Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog, hold and breathe. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Just taking a moment here, opening yourself up. Sternum to the mat and then slowly come down into your child's pose. Just take a second to breathe and then come back up to your all fours. We're gonna reverse now and start with the other leg. So the other leg extends, come on up. Let's start the glute exercise. You're gonna take that left leg all the way to the side, 
Exhale, kick into the opposite side. Kick, tap, kick, tap. So you want to think of tapping the floor on each side of your mat. Kick, tap, kick, tap. Lots of power in the leg here. Try to keep your knees straight so all the work is happening from the glute muscle. Breathe, kick, and kick. Last one. And then come back to center, square the hips out, flex your foot, lower the leg, and just high kick back for one. Kick it back for two. Again, feel that glute muscle doing all the work, toning the back of the leg here. Four. Lift it up. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Hold it there. Pilates push-ups. Take it down for one. And two. Work those triceps. Three. Bring it down and up for four. Five. Six. You got this. Seven. And eight. Awesome. Take that back leg all the way to the side now. You're going to tap the floor and then just lift the leg up for one. And two. This is a very challenging exercise for the glute, but I promise you it will do wonders to toning that area of your body. So do your best. And last two. And one beautiful. Come back to center. Bring that leg around. Square the hips and shoulders. Tuck your toes. Now lift and hover that bottom knee. Other knee comes in and kick it back for one. Two. You got it. And three, breathing through it. Four, knee to chest and up. Five, and six, and seven. You're probably feeling that burn now. You're almost there. And eight, good job. Hold it here. Feel that stretch. Three, like a dog, breathing deeply, bending that top knee, and now stacking the hips. We're going to warm up the hip now by just rotating that top leg for one. Keeping the knee bent here for two and three and four. Awesome. Extend deep breath in and then exhale. Big step with that front leg to the top of the mat. Find your center and your focus and then reaching both arms up to the sky into your high lunge. Take a second to find your center. We're going to go right into those arm exercises again. Squeeze the shoulder blades together as you bend the elbows and reach out for one. Let's squeeze and two. Bending those elbows, squeeze and three. Remember, you can always drop that back knee to the mat if this gets too challenging on the legs. Now let's do one more. Inhale, reach up. Bend your elbows. We're going to work the rotator cuffs now. You're going to drop the palms down and up for one. Just point them down and up for two. Your shoulders and your elbows are staying along one line here. Just bring it down and up. Point it down and up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, you're almost there. Just keep smiling through it. Pressing the palms down and up, strengthening those rotator cuffs is going to help you with all your plank postures here. Good job. Extending the arms. We're going to do our arm circle backwards now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Keep going. Circle back. Keeping the core strong. Keeping your balance. Almost done. Two. One, hold it there. Breathe, reaching the arms up to the sky. And then slowly dropping the knee to the floor. And let's release into your low lunge. You can intertwine those wrists and keep the palms of your hands together into a fancy arm. Or just keep them up to the sky. Think about pushing the pelvis forward so you're getting that nice stretch through the psoas. Beautiful. Inhale and then exhale, releasing the hands down, pushing your weight back to your back knee, flexing your foot and releasing into our half split posture. Breathing deeply, folding that chest over the leg. 
keeping the flexion in your foot so you're getting that stretch through the calf muscle as well. Wonderful job, you guys. One more deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, let it go. Keep those hips square. One more time, deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Slowly, let's release. Come back into that low lunge. Reaching both arms up to the sky. Tucking your back toes here. And then you're going to lift your back knee off the mat. The opposite hand is going to come back to the mat as the other arm reaches up to the sky into your twisted high lunge. Just breathing deeply here. Twisting from the belly button. And then transitioning into our side plank. And again, take it to your level here. You can stay in the side plank. You can even modify by bringing that bottom knee to the floor. Or to make this more advanced, grab your big toe and extend that top leg into a full star. And again, this is a challenging posture. So please modify to your own level here. Whichever version you take, you're still engaged in your core. Let go of your leg now, slowly release, come back into your high plank, and then take your flow. Upward facing dog, opening up. And then exhale, releasing into your downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Bending the knees and then taking a hop to the front of your mat and coming all the way down to the floor now. Let's roll down one vertebra at a time until you're on your back, hugging your knees into your chest and then gently rocking side to side to massage that spine and then taking one arm over your head, rolling over to your fetal position and then coming up to your seated position on your mat. Let's come into an easy pose crossing your feet in front of you and taking a moment to take a big breath in reaching both arms up to the sky and then exhale bring the hands to heart bowing down to your heart and thanking yourself for your incredible practice today thank yourself for challenging your body and strengthening and toning those muscles I send you love and light from the beautiful sacred valley of Peru and I look forward to seeing you again. Namaste.